Hello and welcome to Mary Eye Witness News, your home of Mary Eye News and Entertainment. I'm Ben Sweeney. And I'm Claire Woodburn. To begin with, the ripples from last week's terrorist attacks in Paris are still being seen across the world. Many Western countries paid tribute to the victims of the attack by changing national monuments to the colour of the French flag. On campus, Mary Immaculate College and the MIC French Department got together to give students an opportunity to pay their respects to the victims of the terrorist attacks. A book of condolences was opened in the reception area where students, staff and visitors could formally pay their respects. The French tricolour was also flown at half-mast outside the front of the college and at 11 o'clock on Monday, staff and students assembled in the foyer for a minute's silence. In a statement to Mary Eyewitness News, Olivier Ernest of the French department said, the actions of the French, uh, sorry, the actions of the college to pay respect to the victims of the attacks in Paris meant a lot to me and my colleagues in the French department. Between the book of condolences, the French tricolored half mast, and the bouquet of flowers presented by our second years, we feel that our colleagues here at the college really stood behind us in this tough time. I feel very grateful and moved. Final exams are right around the corner and the work is piling up. The struggle of trying to balance school, work, and a social life, as well as the increasing cost of college, seems to leave students in a constant state of stress. Researchers are now finding that many mental illnesses are traced to trauma caused by times of extreme stress and change throughout the years of college. College students today are more overwhelmed and stressed than 15 years ago, according to a recent UCLA survey of first-year college students. With final exams fast approaching, students can only expect for those stress levels to rise. Fortunately, the college has planned several activities to help students combat the impending stress. Numerous yoga sessions will be available throughout the week and open to all students. If you are worried that your stress levels are just too high for yoga to help alleviate, fear not. Students will also have the opportunity to take out their frustration by throwing and smashing plates against a wall. If these activities still leave you feeling just too overwhelmed, the staff at the Counseling Center are always available to help. You can drop in daily from 11 a.m. to 12 noon. Two professors from the Manchester Metropolitan University conducted research that shows that art, whether it be music, painting, or theater, can have a significant impact on your state of mind and stress reduction. The new Contemporary and Applied Theater Studies course gives students who enjoy theater the ability to incorporate their passion with their coursework. We sent our reporter Ellen to find out more about the course. The BA in Contemporary and Applied Theatre Studies is a new course that started in Mary Eye this year. I spoke to Dr. Michael Finneran, the director of the programme, to find out more about it. So the BA in Contemporary and Applied Theatre Studies is a new four-year level eight degree programme. It's just started and offered for the very first time in September 2015. And it was a strategic move on the part of the college to, um, to develop academic expertise in the area of drama and theatre studies, particularly uh, given that we have this wonderful building, the Lime Tree Theatre, here on our campus. It's designed in such a way that it has a good balance of practical and academic work. So roughly 50% is done in the studio and 50% is done in the classroom. And students will have a chance to do everything from puppetry to theatre history to ensemble performance where they come together. But it's not an actor training programme. So it seeks to give people um, um, an education in all the facets of theatre, from teaching it to designing to stage managing to indeed performance. The course is made up of five modules in first year. Introduction to drama, theatre and performance, contemporary Irish theatre, movement, body and voice in theatre, devising theatre and technical theatre. I met with Luke Frawley, a theatre studies student, to find out about his experience in the course. Well, I wouldn't say they're really any, like anything is really the same. Like you go into every module and it's something completely different. And three out of our five modules are basically like, they're kind of, uh, hands-on, like they're all like you're up and you're not actually sitting in a lecture. It's like you're up and you're moving and you're actually physically doing something rather than sitting down taking notes. Would you recommend the course to other people looking to do a theatre studies course? Oh definitely, if you've any interest in theatre, regardless of what aspect of it it is, it will be covered in detail with the CATS course and you will find something else that you'll definitely enjoy. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, 2016 is the centenary of the 1916 Easter Rising, an event which ultimately led to Irish independence in 1921. 
A huge commemoration has been planned by the government, RTE, and essentially every other public body and institution across the country for next year. Mary Eyewitness News contacted Mary Eye's Head of Corporate Communications, Kieran Nihulawan, about the college's commemorations. In a statement to us, she said that the only currently planned events are those being held by the Department of Learning, Society and Religious Education, who plan to host a week-long series of events around the college campus. The events will include a variety of displays, installations, posters and other initiatives, culminating in a one-day conference at the end of the week. The project will engage college staff, students and the general public in a historical journey that explores many aspects of 1916 in Mary Eye and Limerick, focusing on the socio-economic, educational and cultural events of the time. Miss Nihulawan also says there will be a strong emphasis placed on instigating discussions and developing awareness of the impact that Mary Macaulay College has had over the years. We'll bring you more on the, the College's 1916 commemorations as they're announced. And now, as Monty Python would say, for something completely different. Wired FM is celebrating its 20th year of operation this year. Here on Mary Eyewitness News, we decided to take a look at the station, which has served the students for two decades. 2015 marks the 20th anniversary of Wired FM. To commemorate the anniversary, we spoke to Dr. Rosemary Day and Dr. Keir Ron Ryan about how Wired FM was set up and how it's transformed over the years. We had to go for, uh, for an open hearing process and uh, we did that and uh, we were given the licence uh, to begin broadcasting in 1995 and that's when the fun began. The students who I was teaching that year um, took up the, the challenge and were very um, enthusiastic about it and we got a bit of space in the back of the library, it was actually just a cupboard and uh, we put in a, a sound desk, the college gave us uh, start-up funds and uh, I managed it on a voluntary basis. Initially there was only one studio upstairs, then when they moved downstairs there was one studio with a back room for a number of years that was going to turn into a studio at some stage. And now, from our most recent trip in Brighton City, there's, there's two, different, um, two different studios. We only broadcast, I think, for three hours a day. Uh, we had very limited um, resources, as I said, everybody was a volunteer. Uh, but the students that year were particularly uh, gifted and creative, and it was all new and I think probably their studies were neglected um, because they threw themselves into it with passion and uh, the shows weren't that terribly different to what they are today because uh, the, the students change um, and what's new and fresh uh, is what's ever current and what's ever is, is important to them. The idea of community radio is not so much about the broadcasting, it's about participating and about bringing people together. I, I know from the time I was involved in it that there was that kind of sense of community that came with being involved in a station like that. Um, within your own kind of community, um, our student community, we had these like little pockets of people who were, you know, into Wired and into making radio and some of my best friends still to this day are people I met through my involvement in the station. And then you're kind of like interacting with, I suppose, a, a far wider community of um, people who are involved in, in radio making at a, a specific community radio station level. Over the years, Wired FM has produced such people as Keen McCormack, Ruth Scott and Ruth Golden. We spoke to Mary Immaculate College Student Union President James Deegan about how Wired FM benefits the students. The benefit of having a student radio station on the college grounds, I suppose, um, it kind of gives them a free range to see what the industry is like, particularly if you're doing the BA um, with the media degree there. So it does give them that aspect of what actually goes on in a radio station to see that sort of development of say scripting your own show, the development of the production of your own show gives you a great insight to the actual, um, the actual bigger picture of radio when you leave college and if that's something you want to pursue. Um, it does have all the kind of, I, suppose, I, I know there's no digital desk there, um, but it has the basics that you need to learn the skills that are necessary in the workforce when you go out in that area. From one form of entertainment to another, here's Mary Eyewitness News entertainment reporter Ellen Hayes to talk about Midas and their upcoming shows. The Mary Eye Dramatic Arts Society, better known as Midas, recently announced their plans to present a production of the popular musical Starlight Express in the spring semester. The plot of Starlight Express revolves around a group of toy railway trains portrayed by actors and roller skates who come to life inside the mind of a small boy. Be sure to get your tickets for the show early, it will definitely be a sellout. As well as that, the Midas Dance Society's end of semester show will take place on Monday the 23rd at 8 in the Halla. Tickets cost €5 Euro and are available at the door. In other entertainment news, 
Mary Eye is celebrating Christmas this week by hosting the annual Christmas Days event. The Library Bar are hosting this year's Christmas party with special guests Aqua. Tickets are €5 Euro and are on sale now from the Students' Union and the Library Bar. That's all from us at Mary Eye Witness News for this week. Join us next week for more college news and entertainment. Thanks for watching.